Hi, everybody. I hope you've had a great week. This week, we are going to work through lessons 133 to 136. So let's get started. This week, you're going to need your lessons manual, the student worksheet book, the math card games manual with the game cards, and you will also need uh, appendix page 10 from the back of the lesson manual. This week is review and games week. Let's get started by turning to lesson 133. If your lesson manual was printed in 2016 or before, there is a correction for this lesson. So make sure you make those changes prior to teaching this lesson. Also, if you purchased electronic worksheets in 2017 or before, there is a correction for worksheet 110. As with all review lessons, I will provide lesson numbers for the problems that your child missed or struggled with. If your child struggled with problem one, which is 60 cents times two, go ahead and review lesson 119 or work on their multiples of two by playing math card games. <laughs> for problem two, which is one half of $10.50, you can review lessons 74, 117, 118, and 119. For problem three, 56 divided by eight, um, play games to review, review their multiples of eight. For problem four, which is 78 plus 65, review lessons five and six. For problem five, 72 divided by nine, play some math card games to work on their multiples of nine. For problem six, 10 times 40, review lessons 61 and 62. For problems seven through nine, which are the subtraction problems, look at lessons seven, eight, and nine, or play math card games to practice those subtraction math facts. For problem 10, which is 6,857 plus 6,885, review lessons three, four, five, and six, or you can look at lesson 54 for check numbers. For problem 11, 6,049 minus 5,195, review lessons seven, eight, and nine, or you can look at 59, lesson 59 for check numbers, or you can play math card games to review and work on math facts. For problem 12, which is 6,729 times eight, review lesson 63, 64, or 65 if you're looking at check numbers, or you can play the math card games to work on the multiplication math facts. For problems 13 and 14, which is where they're writing out the numbers, take a look at lessons 48 and 49. For problems 15 through 20, which are the matching problems, look at lessons 48 and 49. For problem 21, which they're, in which they're writing the number, um, again, take a look at lessons 48 and 49. For problems 25 through 45, which are a combination of multiplication and division problems, play math card games to work on those math facts. For problems 46 through 53, which is a bunch of combinations of different problems, um, kind of everything kind of put all together. Um, if you notice your child is struggling with the subtraction problems, take a look at lesson seven, eight, and nine, or play math card games. If your child is struggling with the addition part of the problems, take a look at lessons five and six, or again, play math card games working on those addition math facts. For multiplication, just play some math card games and help them build up those multiplication math facts. For the order of operations, if they're struggling with that or cannot remember that, take a look at lesson 36. For problems 62 through 69, which are the patterns, you can take a look at lessons 85 and 86. And finally, for problems 70 through 73, which are the rounding uh, problems, go ahead and look at lessons 44, 45, and 46. Okay, well, let's go ahead and turn to lesson 134. This is a game day, arithmetic playing arithmetic games. You're going to want to spend this day playing the games listed in this lesson and also reviewing the lessons that your child um, need. If your child struggled with any problems from lesson 133, review the lessons that covered that material. Um, you can spend more than one day on this particular lesson, playing the games and then also reviewing material if you think your child needs more than one day. 
The first game you're going to play is called Rounding War Game, which you've played previously. Um, there is not a blog for that game, but you did play it previously. Uh, the next game you're going to play is Ring Around the Products Game, which you again played previously, but there is also a blog for this game. And that is called 2020 Summer Game Number 14, Ring Around the Product. The third game that you're going to play is the Equal Quotients Game. Again, you've played this one previously, and it also has a blog called 2020 Summer Game Number 13, Equal Quotient. Now, the final game on the top of the second page of the lesson that you will play if you have time is Division War. Now, there is not a, a blog for that specific game, but it is played similar to the other war games in Right Start Map. Well, let's go ahead and turn to lesson 135. This lesson is going to review time, money, and problem solving. Now, here are the lessons that you're going to want to review if your child has any difficulty with this particular worksheet. If your child struggled with problems one through four, which are the clocks, um, review lesson 97. For problems five through 10, these are the word problems. And really it's kind of more logic. Um, so if your child missed it, you might just wanna talk through any of those problems, um, walking through that logic. If however, your child struggled with a concept of money, um, then you might wanna look at lesson 119. For problem six, if your child struggled with the arith arithmetic on that, um, you can work on the multiples of eight by playing the math card games. For a time problem, unless for the time problems in this section, um, you can go ahead and review lesson 99 if they struggled with the time element of that problem. And then for problem 10, um, if they struggled with their working with their multiples of seven, just go ahead and play some math card games working on that multiple of seven. All right, well, let's go ahead and turn to lesson 136. This is a, day, a game day for time, money, and problem solving. You're going to warm up your child uh, for the first game um, called 15 Minutes Later by asking your child questions to find 15 minutes later um, after the time that you say as listed in the lesson manual. You will need the clock for appendix page, uh, from the appendix pages, um, specifically appendix page 10 for this activity. Um, if you do not have that, or which, if you prefer, you can also use the gear clock instead as a visual, but if possible, don't let your child move those hands, just let them use it to observe um, and then set the time, the initial time, but don't let them use the gear clock to find the next time their answer. Then you're going to play the game 15 minutes later, and there is a blog for that game called 2020 Summer Game Number 8, 15 minutes later. The next game that you're going to play is Counting Money Game. There is not a blog for that game, though. The final game that you're going to play for this lesson is going to be working on problem solving, and it's called Corners Puzzles Game. We do have a, a blog for this game called 2017 Summer Game Number Five, Corners Variation. Now there are also additional explanations on the second page of the lesson if you want to view that. Okay, well that's it for the week. If you have any questions or concerns about a lesson or if your child is struggling with something, give us a call or email us, we are here to help. I look forward to seeing you next week for our final overview video as we cover lessons 137 through 140. Have a great week, everybody.